a riverfront street in St. Paul is shutting down ahead of anticipated flooding this weekend. After recent rain here in the spring, the Mississippi River expected to crest this weekend. Our Bill Keller live for us in St. Paul with more on what's impacted, how the city is responding. Hi, Bill. Good morning, Kelly. Yeah, this morning, the Mississippi River well within its banks, but certainly the swollen river is moving at a pretty swift pace and the rising water already impacting a number of city parks and rivers, uh, streets along the river. Now, starting today, Water Street, aptly named, uh, will become, uh, which becomes Lilydale off to the west, will be closed along the south side of the Mississippi River. That closure will extend from Highway 13 over by 35E to Plato. And that temporary closure means that no vehicles, bicycle, or pedestrian traffic allowed. There are also a number of parks that are being affected. The places on the map you see here are closed as of this morning, and that includes the Hidden Falls Boat Launch, Kelly's Landing, and Meeker Island. People also being asked to obey the signs and not go around the barricades if they are set up across any flooded uh, trails and at several parks. And take a look at how quickly the water level is expected to come up. With all this recent rain we have had, the Mississippi River in St. Paul here currently sits at just over 10 feet, but the water is expected to come up another three feet before cresting at 13.8 over the weekend. Now, Lilydale Regional Park will be closed by 11 o'clock tonight. Harriet Island to uh, the west of us will remain open to the public, but these uh, dock ramps you see have been raised. The city says they're monitoring the river level and they will be reopening things as soon as the water recedes and they can make sure that everything is deemed safe. Kelly, Tom, yeah, back to right. you. Right. Okay. Bill, thanks so much. Appreciate it. And of course, it's not just there in St. Paul. A flood warning continues for the Minnesota River in Jordan. In fact, this is what it looks like. Still in that flood stage, expected to rise another about a half an inch. And a flood warning also continues for the Cannon River in Northfield. After dropping back to normal last night, the river expected to rise again today and head back to minor flood stage sometime tonight. The reason for all of this, a lot of rain we've had lately, and we had another line of storms move, move through last night, left some damage behind parts of our state. For sure. Hannah Flood joins us now with a look at the cleanup. Some folks have a significant amount of cleanup. Yeah, good morning. Yes, definitely. These storms impacted a lot of folks, especially North Metro. The storms entered the Twin Cities about 5 o'clock last night, and many of you sent us what it looked like where you were. So let's take a look at some of those images into our newsroom. This is a look at Circle Pines, a video here where you can see rain and wind just whipping through a neighborhood, taking a lot of debris with it. Rain kind of coming by in sheets at times, as you can see there. Then at the end of this, uh, at the end of the video, you can see a tree topple over under the pressure of that wind. And we sent our crews out to Circle Pines to just get a better look at that impact of the storms, especially after they rolled through. Our photojournalists captured trees blown onto houses, garages, and vehicles. We also found people that were out and about helping one another clean up. We spoke to one woman who was in her home when the storm hit. It was just really, really loud. I heard a couple uh, um, thunder strikes, and the third one that I heard I thought was a thunder strike was actually this tree coming down on these cars and the fourth one I heard through the house it was really loud and knocked over my kitchen chairs <laughs> so. wow amazing check out this uh, security camera footage out of Blaine it's from a home and it captured the moment you can see on the right hand part of your screen right there a tree came crashing down in a neighborhood of some mobile homes it just started with branches eventually that whole tree came down and pictures out of the centennial square community which is uh, on the border of blaine and circle pines that neighborhood saw significant damage a lot of downed trees on top of vehicles there too a lot of debris out on the ground as well so we know a lot of people will be cleaning up today and don't forget if you have pictures of storm damage you can send us those pictures and videos at fox9.com photos we may show them on the air it really helps us just get an idea idea of areas that are impacted when storms like this come through. We also have a gallery of these pictures on our website of pictures that folks have already sent in. Back to you. Uh, some, some serious looking pictures there too. Mm -hmm. You know they're going to have some damage to deal with early this morning. Another part's just a lot of rain. Right. <laughs> Consistent. Right. Hannah, thank you.